Hey. <clears throat> Good evening. I'm looking in my purse for an oil. For a very, very special oil. <clears throat> Anybody guess? <laughs> Valor. All right. I'm so excited. So excited. When am I when am I not excited to teach a class, right? <sighs> Got my valor. Sniffing my valor. Okay. All right, I'm just gonna wait. Just <clears throat> us 30 seconds. Hi, Jamie. <laughs> All right. <clears throat> well, I'm going to go ahead and get started because it is 801 and I have a lot to cover. I have a lot to cover. So I'm super excited about tonight. Wonder Moms Survival Kit class. That's what I'm teaching tonight. <clears throat> All right. Let me get my notes because otherwise, I have squirrel, I have squirrel syndrome. <laughs> All right, so how is everybody tonight? Please, um, please let me know that you're watching. Um, <clears throat> and tag a friend, um, share this class, share this video um, with your mom friends. So. I am super excited about this class because I know that there are a lot of moms out there who need some sanity or some peace or quiet or <clears throat> help them as they navigate the waters of motherhood, right? <laughs> Whether you have babies or toddlers or children, preteens, teenagers, or adult children, this is the class for you because let's face it, momming is hard. And some days, most days, I think we could all use a little bit of help. So this class is not for you if, number one, you are a perfect mom and always get it, gets it right. Number two, you have perfect children and they behave like super nanny is living in your home. This class is not for you if you have all your meals planned and they are all nutritious and everyone in your family loves them. <laughs> this class is not for you if you are well rested, your laundry is caught up, and there are no dirty dishes in your sink or dishwasher. And this class is not for you if you da take daily uninterrupted bubble baths complete with wine, chocolates, and your favorite book. This class is not for you. <clears throat> you know, I'm kidding. I take that back because this class is for you because you're lying. You're a unicorn and you have no friends because no one can relate to you. <laughs> I am so kidding. Everyone needs, every mom needs this class tonight because I'm going to share with you some simple things you can do to help you be a good mom when we all know it's one of the hardest things that we will ever do in life. So my name is Terry McCollum, obviously, um, aka the Granola Babe. I'm a wife to Corbett, the Granola Beau, and mom to Sophia, the Granola Teen. And we began our oily granola journey nine years ago when our daughter Sophia was in preschool. I was incredibly skeptical at first, but after a lot of research, because I had to prove to myself that there was legit science to back it up, <clears throat> and I thought it was a bunch of voodoo. So, um, but I also, through experience, um, like experiencing the life-changing benefits, I became an advocate and passionate sharer of the oils and a toxin-free life. I'm a part of a community called Granola Babes, and we have become a movement of moms, dads, grandparents, teachers, nurses, athletes, teenagers, and kids whose mission is to simply share the granola lifestyle we promote because we feel that it results in a life of health, wellness, and abundance. My goal is to, is to make oiling as easy, applicable, and relatable as possible because I know from personal experience that beginning your oily journey can be a tad overwhelming and extremely intimidating. <clears throat> you don't know where in the world to start or you feel like you have to know everything before you start using the oils. 
um, I'm here to put your mind at ease because I hope I can convince you that number one, you don't have to be an oily expert or an aromatherapist to use essential oils. Number two, you can slowly and incrementally create oily habits that will give you immediate benefits. Number three, EOS, um, EOS essential oils um, can work into any budget. And number four, they are versatile and so stinking easy to use. If I can use them, you can use them. When you join the Granola Babes family, we will provide you with resources and coaching so that you don't have to feel alone or unsure about how to begin. So listen, I don't have all the answers. I learned from looking things up and practicing. And you are a smart mom. If you want to be an avid oiler and not a dabbler, you will learn and look for ways to use essential oils every single day. Even if it's just one oil, that is totally okay. So are essential oils magic? No. Will using essential oils make your life perfect? No. But they certainly can transform and improve your quality of life <coughs> in so many ways. I'm going to get one of my thieves cough drops. So I don't hack through the whole thing. So I apologize. All right. So how do we achieve health and wellness? Well, one of the first things we can do is reduce or eliminate the toxins in your body and, and, and home. You can flood the body with nutrients. You can create healthy lifestyle habits like getting adequate sleep, hydration, exercise, and reduce stress. Essential oils can help us in all, every single one of these areas. They can play a very instrumental role in creating a healthy, toxin-free, and healing home. They can help our bodies better absorb the nutrients our body needs for optimal health, and they can help us to sleep, exercise, and reduce stress. Essential oils are not meant to only be used when you fall below the wellness line. And when I say fall below the wellness line, I mean when you're below the wellness line, you are not well. <laughs> you don't have energy. You don't feel good. You hurt. Um, you're tired. A lot of things. You're below the wellness line. They are meant, essential oils are meant to be used daily, not just when you're below the wellness line. So unfortunately, as a society, we are conditioned to pop a pill when we become ill or sick. And typically that pill is only treating the symptoms, not the root cause of what is going on. And those pills usually come with nasty side effects, whereas essential oils don't. So when we use essential oils as part of our daily health, regimen, we can provide uh, continuous support to our cells, to our organs, systems of the body, the skin, and mental health. Why wait till you are sick to ramp up your health routine? Do you brush your teeth only when the dentist tells you you have a cavity? No, you brush your teeth every single day to keep your teeth and gums healthy. I want you to think of using essential oils like brushing your teeth. Can we use them when health challenges arise? Most definitely. This is when our body needs additional support, but don't stop there. Don't be an oily dabbler. <laughs> For optimal health, you want to be an avid oiler. We are all doing one of two things in terms of our health. We are either investing in our health or we will invest in our illness. <clears throat> we put money in a savings account. We put money in a 401k, in investments, in stocks. We pay for our home. We make car payments. And we put money towards other things, but why don't we invest in wellness? We pay for health insurance so that when we do get sick, but what investment do we make in our health and wellness? Would you agree that your greatest asset is your health? I think most people would agree. Um, just wait till you're not well, wait till you're sick, or wait till you're diagnosed with something um, before you understand the importance and how much you treasure your precious health. Um, I promise you, you will not be able to enjoy the fruits of your labor if you fall ill. So our family has not paid a copay, filled a prescription, or bought anything over the counter in I don't know how many years. I mean, we rely heavily on daily oily habits and use our oils to give our body extra support when we are under the weather. Am I anti-doctor? No. Am I anti-medicine? No. But that is my last resort. 
<clears throat> I will I will do everything natural and oily first um, before I resort to that. So we believe our granola, our family granola babes. We believe that our body has the ability to mend and heal itself when the when properly supported by healthy lifestyle habits. And as moms, we tend to put the needs of our family ahead of our own. I would step in front of a speeding train for my child to save her. And I know that you feel the same exact way about your children. We sacrifice and we go above and beyond for our children because we love them more than life itself. I get it. I'm a mom. But let me challenge you just a little bit. And I have to say that I'm speaking to myself here too. We cannot be good moms to our kids if we are tired, if we're sick, if we're stressed, and if we're depressed. So tonight, I'm going to share with you 12 oils that I believe every mom should have in her mom toolbox or survival kit because they have helped me and millions of other moms. Where is my peppermint? Sorry, using my peppermint. One way you can use your peppermint. Um, the 12 oils will help you be the best mom you can be and support you when life throws you curveballs. So let's take a moment to understand the basics first before we dive in. I want to lay an oily foundation for you. Um, I want to talk about what essential oils are, how do we choose the best ones, um, how do we choose the safest oils, and then how do we use them. So essential oils are the lifeblood of a plant. So like blood is to our bodies, essential oils are to a plant. It's what protects the plant, nourishes the plant, and keeps the plant vital. So essential oils are extracted, um, from, extracted from the roots, stems, petals, leaves, and bark of plants and trees through steam distillation, cold pressing, or resin tapping. And because of their molecular structure, our bodies love essential oils. They readily accept them, are able to use them to promote health and wellness, and then our body metabolizes them like other nutrients, and then they leave the body when the body is done with them. They don't stick around and hang around any longer than they're supposed to, or the, that our body needs. Essential oils beautify, cleanse, and um, enhance, and, and support the body. And the three things you need to know about essential oils is that they work, number one, they aren't voodoo, <laughs> they aren't witch, witchcraft, um, they're safe and they're easy to use. So they work, they're safe, and they're easy to use. That's what you need to know about essential oils. When there are so many choices out there for essential oils, it can be difficult to know which ones are right for you and your family. I know that you can go pretty much anywhere and find essential oils these days. But what you need to know is that there are no regulations for essential oils. The only standard required is that a bottle that reads 100% pure natural, for it to be labeled 100% pure natural, only 5 to 10% of what's in that bottle needs to actually be essential oil. <clears throat> that is terrifying. Um, and even that is very subjective because the oils often used are low grade, not good quality, they're adulterated, um, and they lack the therapeutic constituents that make them pure and potent. They also, um, there's fillers and stuff like that, like mineral oil and alcohols, and those are things that you do not want on your body, in or on your body. If you knew that everything that was put on your skin would end up in your bloodstream in less than a minute, would that make a difference to you? If you knew that everything that was put on your skin would end up in your bloodstream in less than a minute, would that make a difference to you? Because people have said to me that they don't care about how pure an essential oil is because they're not drinking them. So they're like, oh, it's fine. I don't ingest them, so it's fine. Well, regardless of whether you are topically using your oils or inhaling the oils with your precious lungs, they will ultimately end up in your body, in your bloodstream, traveling to all of your organs. Does it matter what kind of essential oils you are using? Heck yes, <laughs> it matters. All oils are not created equal. And this is also true in a topic for another class, 
um, of the cleaning products you use. So personal care products you use, air fresheners, things of that nature, anything that you inhale into your lungs or put on your skin in the form of personal care, cosmetics, cleaning products will end up in your bloodstream one way or another. So what goes onto your skin, into your mouth, breathe into your lungs, will go into your body, plain and simple. So yes, I want the purest and I want the safest oils in the world. Don't you? Does quality matter to you? <laughs> okay, so for nine years we have been using Young Living and this is why. For nine years we've been using Young Living. Me, my family, my daughter, my husband. They are a 25-year-old company making our founder, Gary Young, the modern day pioneer of essential oils. They are the only essential oil company that owns their own farms and has a seed to seal promise. And what does this mean? It means that they are in control of every, every single aspect, every single step, everything that goes into producing our essential oils. They maintain their own seed lines. They're in control of the planting, cultivating, harvesting, distilling, testing, as well as third-party testing, and bottling our oils. There is no other company in the world that does all of this. They exceed industry standards and go beyond organic. And Young Living is a full disclosure company and tells us everything that is in their products, which cannot be said of the products that you can purchase in the store. Anyone can visit their farms around the world. I've been to the Lavender Farm in Mona, Utah, like three or four times. It's absolutely amazing. It's gorgeous. You can go there. You can, what, whatever they're distilling at the time, you can smell it. You can go see it. You can see the oils being distilled. It's like, there's nothing like it. It's really amazing. So if you ever get a chance to go to any of the <coughs> Young Living Farms, you need to do that. I have never seen a company with such commitment to safety, quality, and integrity. And you can be confident and rest assured that Young Living Oils are the safest, purest, and most potent oils in the world. Now, I used to think that essential oils were used only for massage and perfume and witchcraft. <laughs> I'm kidding. Um, but no, about the massage and the perfume part. Um, but I did think it was a bunch of voodoo, actually, when I first before I got started. Um, but I had no idea that they could do so much more than that. They could be used for so many, so much more in terms of supporting your health. I thought it was just kind of like a, ooh, they smell good, you know? So how do we use oils for health and wellness anyway? <clears throat> how can moms, moms specifically, use them to maintain their sanity? <laughs> Our body benefits from the oils when we use them in three ways, okay? We can use them aromatically, topically, and internally. Essentially, when we inhale the aroma, rub them on our skin, or ingest them, that's how we can use and benefit from the oils. The question I'm asked a ton is, which method is the best? Where am I going to get the, how am I going to get the best results? Should I inhale the aroma, put it on my skin, or put it in my mouth? And I have to say that it depends on the person and what you're, <clears throat> what you're wanting to do and what you're trying to do. Any of the methods will get the oils into your body, and your body is going to benefit regardless of, of which method you try. If you want to support emotions and mood, the best and fastest method of application is through the inhalation because when we breathe in the aroma, those essential oil molecules travel to the limbic system of the brain, which is the seat of our emotions and memory. If you want to uplift and energize or calm, relax, improve focus and concentration, you want to diffuse. You're going to make a room spray or you can smell right from the bottle. So just take the cap off and just smell it like that. Look at this. That's all you got to do and then you're an essential oil user. That's it. You just take the, the cap off. So easy. <clears throat> Um, so what you're going to do is another way that you can use them is to put a drop of oil in the palm of your hands. So it's going to go like that and you're going to rub your hands together and then you're just going to hold them over your nose and mouth or close to your face. <laughs> you're going to close your eyes and you're going to go to sleep. No, <clears throat> I'm kidding. You're going to take some slow, deep breaths and you're just gonna inhale the aroma. So the, your hands are like 
hand diffusers, okay? So that's how you can get the aroma into your, you know, into your brain, actually, because when you smell them, the aroma travels so fast that it can be found in your brain in like three seconds. It's, it's incredible. So when we want to beautify our skin, we want to treat ourselves to a massage, if we want to soothe muscles, ligaments, and joints after a strenuous exercise or or if we have occasional discomforts and we want to support healthy systems of the body, we can use the oils topically according to the dilution ratios printed on the back of every single bottle. On the back, you can find the dilution ratios, whether or not an oil needs to be diluted. Because some oils are considered hot or it can cause a skin sensitivity. And with these, we want to always use a carrier oil like coconut oil, olive oil, jojoba, sweet almond oil, grape seed oil, or Young Living's V6 oil. And my personal favorites are jojoba and V6. Uh, you can pretty much apply them anywhere, essential oils anywhere on the skin, except obviously you're not going to put them in your eyes, you're not going to drop them in your ears. Um, but you can put them on pulse points, you can put them on your tummy, chest, back, neck, spine, and the bottoms of your feet. That's like a great place to put oils. <clears throat> when we want to support systems of the body from the inside out, we can use essential or Young Living essential oils uh, in the Vitality line. So the Young Living Vitality line oils, um, they are GRAS certified, so they're generally regarded as safe for consumption, and they are certified and are intended to be used as a dietary supplement. They are meant to be taken internally. There are no other oils on the market that I'm aware of that are safe for consumption, nor are they designated specifically for internal use. This is, I only know of this with Young Living, and I would only... It, um, ingest or recommend you ingest Young Living Vitality oils. Young Living oils are safe to be taken internally because they are pure and because they are potent. And you can know which oils are safe to, to, for use by mouth by the white label. Um, okay, so let me just show you really quick. This is peppermint, okay? This is regular peppermint. This is Peppermint Vitality, and Peppermint Vitality, all the Vitality oils have a white label, and the regular oils have, um, have a solid color label. The same exact oil is in these bottles. Like, there's nothing different about the contents of these oils. It's just that Young Living would, wanted to make it as easy as possible for us to know which ones are safe to ingest. So if an oil um, is in the Vitality line, so for example, peppermint is in the Vitality line, so that means peppermint is safe to ingest, okay? Um, there's nothing different about the con contents. One isn't stronger than the other, or one isn't diluted. It's they're the same exact oil. It's just that the white labeled ones let us know which ones we can use as a dietary supplement. <clears throat> um, okay, so you um, you can know that you can on the back of the Vitality oils, it will actually give you instructions on how to use them um, as a dietary supplement. All of the oils um, in the Vitality line are ingestible, so you can put them under your tongue or on your tongue. You can put oils in vegetable capsules. Um, Young Living has the vegetable capsules, but you can also get them at Whole Foods, but they're the empty vegetable capsules, so you just put your oils in there. And I like to add a little bit of um, olive oil in there with it, and then you can just swallow it like you would a supplement. Um, you can put uh, essential oils in your beverages. Um, always start off with one drop at first to see <clears throat> because they are potent and one drop may be enough. So you can put it in your water, you can put it in your juice, tea, you can put it on the back of your hand and lick it off. Uh, you can put it in smoothies or protein shakes. You can add them to your cooking and your baking recipes. You can also add essential oils to a teaspoon of honey or Young Living's Ningxia Red Wolfberry Puree Super Juice. I love to add my oils to my Ningxia Red. So if you're already feeling a little bit overwhelmed, let me put your mind at ease. You don't have to memorize all this stuff. <laughs> There are some amazing books, websites, and other resources that you can use to look up the best ways to use your oils 
and for what, okay? You can even go to granolababes.net, which as of this moment, January 20, what is today? January 24th, um, the website is being updated, and I could not be more excited about this because it is going to be more functional and usable. It's going to look pretty. Not that it doesn't look pretty, but it's just going to be so much more user-friendly, and you're going to be able to use the Granola Babes website um, to really dive in and look and learn, and get. it's going to be a valuable resource to you. So, oh my goodness, I, I knew I shouldn't have looked at the comments. I knew it. Because <sighs> Jonathan is on. All right, Jonathan, keep the comments to a minimum, okay? I'm just going to warn everybody right now. Jonathan is going to be a smart mouth, okay? So don't anybody get offended. Um... I know him and I know that he's going to say some crazy stuff. So just ignore it because um, that's just, that's just how he is. But I love him. Okay. <laughs> um, all right. So I wrote a book called Granola Living um, and I still use it because I don't, I still don't know. I don't know everything and I have to look things up. I have to look things up all the time. People send me messages. People send me texts. And, and they ask me questions and sometimes I'm like, I, that's a great question. Let me look that up. And I will look it up and usually take a picture. I usually take a picture and send the picture, a screenshot or whatever. Um, so, you know, I don't even know all the recipes in my own book. I don't have them memorized and I still have to look them up. So, which is one of the reasons why I wrote the book. <laughs> so as long as you have some basic information, like what I've shared with you already, um, you are good to begin. So you've got this. You've got this. So I just want to touch quick upon some safety guidelines. Um, if you are pregnant or nursing, there are some oils that are not recommended during this time. So be sure to check with your doctor and do your own research. Do your due diligence. Be the CEO of your own health. If you have any medical conditions, please have a conversation with your doctor about essential oils. Um, we are our best health advocate. You are the CEOs of your own health. So like I said, do your, your due diligence and do your research. So when using citrus oils, and these are some safety guidelines, when you're using your citrus oils um, topically on the skin, it's important that you don't expose that skin to the sun for about 48 hours or so. Um, if you're going to use um, citrus oils, then you're going to want to put them in places that are not going to be exposed to the sun because citrus oils are photosensitive and they can cause your skin to burn. Um, you can still use your oils internally, your Vitality citrus oils. You can take use them um, as a dietary supplement, but just don't be slathering your hands, your arms and <clears throat> legs with citrus oil and then go out in the sun. It's not not good. <laughs> so when adding oils to your water, use only glass or stainless steel. Never use plastic or styrofoam or anything like that. If you were to get essential oils in your eyes, you're going to flush the eyes with a carrier oil, never water, okay? I got peppermint in my eye one time. That's not fun. Um, get pep, you know, when you get peppermint or anything like that in your eye, it's a little like, whoo. Uh, but Corbett, my hubby, he poured olive oil into my eyeball over the sink and flushed it that way. You never want to use water because it will actually drive it in. So a little tip for you. Okay, so now that we've covered the basic let, basics, let's dive into what 12 oils all moms need to have in their survival kit and how to use them. I am so happy that Young Living updated their starter kit because it has all the oils a Wonder Mom needs. This magical kit is $165. It is a smoking deal, okay? I'm just telling you. Not only does it come with 12 survival oils, the 12 survival oils that I'm going to talk about tonight, but it comes with a diffuser. It comes with two packs, packets of Ningxia Red, a, pocket, or a packet of the Thieves Household Cleaner, and it comes with a Thieves Hand Purifier. This is new. Not new, but new to the kit. And it also includes your Lifetime Young, Le Young Living membership, which allows you the ability to order all the Young Living products you want or need at 24% off the retail price. And it allows you access to free products and perks. The perks are amazing. 
the free products are amazing. So this is the kit you want. I can verify that I would be half the mom I am without this kit. When I got started nine years ago, the kit was very different, but it was the best stinking money I ever spent. And I cannot wait to share with you everything that comes in your Wonder Mom Survival Kit. So if you're not an avid oiler, you may be wondering how in the world are you going to fit another thing into your life? Or, you know, you might be so desperate for help that you don't even care. <laughs> You don't care what it takes. You're just like, show me the oily survival kit. Um, so I want to talk to you. I want to talk, walk you through a day in the life of a wonder mom because some days are better than others, but every day should be an oily day, right? Um, <clears throat> okay. I'm not going to look at the, I'm not going to look at the comments because I, that's just going to distract me. <laughs> All right, I'm not looking, I'm not looking. All right, alarm goes off. <coughs> Your alarm goes off in the morning. Either that or your baby woke up screaming or you're kicked in the face by your toddler because your toddler came into your bed at 2 a.m. and has been there all night. One way or another, you're, you're, you're awake, right? You don't wanna crawl out of bed because it's warm and right now it's winter time and it's cold and you're like I don't even want to get out of bed I'm so stinking tired so on your nightstand is a bottle of peppermint peppermint you're gonna grab that baby you're gonna put a drop in the palm of your hands you're gonna rub them together and you're gonna cup them over your nose and your mouth while you're breathing deeply okay this is gonna open up your lungs it's gonna wake you up and it's gonna give you a shot of energy or put a drop on your tongue because morning breath, uh, but it also gives you a, a nice swift kick in the pants because you're going to be like, okay, I'm awake right now. <laughs> now you at least have the oomph to, to make it to the kitchen to grab a cup of coffee. But wait, before grabbing that coffee, what you're going to do is you're going to take your lemon oil and you're going to put one to two drops in a tall glass of water and you're going to drink it all all you're gonna drink it all before you eat or drink anything else I know you're gonna be tempted you're gonna be like I need my coffee you don't understand I need my coffee but I really challenge you to drink your water first okay you haven't had a drop of hydration all night and your body needs water plus while you were sleeping your body was still working and a glass of lemon oil is cleansing to the cells and supports a healthy digestive system so before the crazy train begins, you're going to fill your diffuser with water and put whatever oils you like the smell of in it. If there is illness in the air, use four to eight drops of thieves. Okay, thieves, thieves is incredible. It is a blend of amazing oils, cinnamon, eucalyptus, rosemary, clove, lemon, I think. <laughs> Sometimes I, I forget. But anyway, it, has, it smells like Christmas, okay? <clears throat> but it helps to um, purify the air, and it just makes your house smell amazing, and it just helps if there is stuff going around. If you need some joy and happiness, um, what you're going to do is in instead of thieves, maybe, you can add some citrus fresh. So citrus fresh is another oil in your kit. Or you can put lemon, you can put peppermint, or any, or any combination of, you know, couple them, whatever. Don't be afraid to experiment with different combinations. Just as a rule, I don't use more than 10, 10 to 12 drops of oils total in my diffuser at one time. You can use as little or as much as you want depending on the strength and scent you want. <clears throat> Every month I send My Granola Babes a newsletter with nine to 12 new diffuser recipes to try. And it is so much fun to experiment and try with different oils. So have fun with it. People often get really, really nervous about blending oils. They're like, oh my gosh, I don't know. I can't, should I blend this one? Should I, it doesn't, don't be nervous about it, okay? It's fun. It's fun to experiment. You might even stumble upon a doozy of a recipe and you have created your own signature scent. <laughs> um, if you're lucky enough to get a workout in, in the morning, then you're going to treat your muscles to pan away. Okay, pan away, massaged all over the muscles um, that you just worked. You're going to rub this over your muscles, or if you are tense, 
I don't know, moms can kind of be tense every once in a while, you're going to rub that on your neck and on your shoulders. Okay, so when you rub that pan away on your neck and your shoulders, you're going to feel something within a couple minutes. Like it's just going to feel amazing. You're going to drop your shoulders, you're going to relax them, and you're just going to be like, oh my goodness, this stuff is amazing. And then you're going to take your hands and you're going to go. So that's pan away for you. Okay. Or if you work out later, make sure that you throw your pan away in your gym bag. So let's be real. We're not 25 anymore. Or Well, most of us on this, this class um, and tuning in are not 25 anymore. So we need some extra support with our muscles and our bones and our ligaments. And when we wake up in the morning, sometimes things don't feel great. Uh, you know, I always think of, we have this joke in our house, you know, like with um, the Incredibles, you know, when uh, Mr. Incredible, you know, he's fighting that whatever it is, I don't know, the robot. And then he's like, oh, my back, my back, you know. So that's what I think of when um, I think about putting pan away on my back. Before your workout, you can always rub. Let's see, where is it? Oh yeah, you can always rub a drop of Raven on your chest, and Raven is another, I mm, can't get them out, I should have taken them out before. <laughs> so you're gonna take Raven, and you're gonna rub this on your chest before a workout, because guess what, you need oxygen. You need oxygen to work out. <laughs> and it just helps to open up um, the airways, and it supports your respiratory system. Um, I'm seasonally asthmatic, and the winter time is brutal for me, so I need all the extra support I can get, which is why I'm using peppermint. That's why throughout this class, you're probably going to see me sniffing or licking peppermint, <laughs> because it just, it helps me, um, it helps me to breathe, and so that I don't start coughing and hacking and, and whatever, so it just supports my respiratory, a healthy respiratory system. Um, <clears throat> my lungs are so much happier with uh, peppermint and raven. So maybe you're lacking motivation to go work out. Maybe you're lacking motivation to go to work. So you can inhale your peppermint or you can put a drop on your tongue. You can even just drop it right on your tongue. Um, and it will help to give you some oomph and energy and some motivation. So in Panaway isn't just for athletes. Um, the Panaway oil is great for moms because you're usually lugging around groceries, a baby carrier, a stroller, or a toddler all the time and your muscles get angry. So your muscles are saying and they're just screaming, give me some Panaway or peppermint, stat. Like I need Panaway and peppermint. And so you can combine it with a carrier oil and give your body some extra comfort. And I also love Panaway or peppermint on the bottom of my feet. So like um, if I can convince my husband to give me a foot massage, a foot rub, um, he will use Panaway or peppermint because it is so soothing and comforting and refreshing to the feet. Put a drop of thieves under your tongue. <clears throat> so again, breaking out the thieves. So you're gonna find that you can use each of these oils multiple times for various uh, various things. Thieves can go underneath the tongue for immune system support. Mama ain't got time to be under the weather. Mama ain't got time to be sick. So this is one of your daily routines, your daily habits that you should implement like right away. <laughs> But this, I want to caution you that this is really spicy, but it's so good for you. It's so good for you, and it may take some getting used to. <clears throat> if it's too much for you um, to put in your mouth, <laughs> uh, then you can rub it on the bottom of your the bottoms of your feet. Every day, somehow, some way, you need to get thieves into your body. And it's, like I said, it smells like Christmas. It is wonderful while diffused because it helps to clean the air. But getting it in and on your body daily is a perfect habit to develop. Um, your immune system will thank you. And I know that some, uh, some people even like to add a drop of thieves uh, to their coffee grounds before brewing. <clears throat> this will add a little bit of spice to your coffee. <laughs> Stress away. Okay, so stress away is another oil in the starter kit. <clears throat> stress away is like your vacation in a bottle. Okay, whenever you need a moment to break from the chaos, grab your stress away. 
whether things are falling apart at work or at home, this oil can be worn as a perfume when you apply it to your pulse points or wear it on perfume like a diffuser jewelry. Snap your roller bottle fitment. You get a roller bottle fitment in the starter kit and you can put this this is the roller bottle fitment, so then that way when you put it on the bottle, you can easily apply it to your skin. Um, a lot of people will use the roller fitment and they put it on either the stress away, on the, um, the thieves, or the pan away, just for easy application. <clears throat> Um, this is one, this is a, a great one alone. Like if you're going to put it in your diffuser, you can put stress away in your diffuser all by itself, or you can combine it maybe with lavender because that you would want to use maybe that combination when stress is at an all time high. <laughs> can you think of any times in your day when stress, stress away might be helpful as a mom? Yeah, I think stress away would probably become your very best friend. Digize. Oh my goodness. So Digi's, this bottle of magic smells, um, I don't know, as Jamie Nato would say, like Satan's playpen. I think that's what she called it yesterday. Um, but let's just say it does not smell good. Okay. It does not smell good. This is one oil that you will not be diffusing. I'm 99.9% .9 sure. Um, but it does wonders on the tummy. It does amazing things to the digestive system. So this helps with digestive issues, like when you're traveling or if you ate sushi from the gas station. Yeah, that's when you're going to want digize. If you're bloated, if you're gassy, if you have a rumbly tummy, digize will be your best friend. And I like to either put this in a vegetable capsule that you can purchase through Young Living or Whole Foods, or you can add it to your shot of Ningxia Red, and that's what I do. I don't care for the taste of it, but I know some people like to add it to their glass of water after a meal or put a drop under their tongue. Um, clearly, they are trying to show off because I can't do it. Um, I, just, I just can't do it. Um, I guess if I were really, really desperate, I probably would, but um, it's not one that smells good or taste good. I'm just going to be honest. That's my opinion, but I, I know what it does to my stomach and it does, it works magic. Um, <clears throat> so anyway, you can also, as a mom, you can rub this one on your tummy, your lower, your lower abdomen or your lower back to help with monthly, monthly discomforts. If you can get past the smell, it really works great for that. Frankincense and lavender. Okay, frankincense and lavender. Oh my goodness. These two gems are gifts, God's gift to moms. Because number one, they support our emotions. Number two, they support our mental cognition. Number three, they are amaze balls for amazing aging skin. And because remember, we're not 25 anymore. Um, if you've ever locked yourself in the bathroom and cried while the kids pound on the door, or if you've ever felt like running away, stop and grab your frankincense or your lavender, okay? Sniff from the bottle. Rub a couple drops on your neck, your wrists, or your shoulders. Uh, for good measure, pour one drop on the crown of your head. You can do this. Just put a little drop, one drop on the, on the crown of your head. Diffuse, diffuse, diffuse. These are the oils you want to diffuse when you're having emotional stuff happening, okay? These oils uh, do wonders for the brain and our emotions. So e you can use either of these to enhance prayer uh, during journaling, meditating, or doing yoga. My hubby swears by frankincense to help him focus at work and to be more productive. So don't be without don't be without Frank. Don't be without Lavender. They are mama's best friend for supporting healthy emotions, mood, moods, and brain function. And I know we all could use a little help with brain function, or at least I, I'll speak for myself. I, I can. So let's talk about how Lavender and Frankincense work on your skin. Oh my goodness, these two oils are a part of my daily skin routine. Chances are pretty good you don't sleep a full eight to ten hours at night. Am I right? Like, as moms, we don't get a lot of sleep always, especially if you have little ones. Some days you might be lucky to wash your face, let alone put makeup on. <laughs> so <clears throat> since, having, <clears throat> since having kids, you've probably looked in the mirror 
and you've probably thought, hmm, where did that wrinkle come from? Um, wait a minute. Is that a, is that two wrinkles or three wrinkles? You know, like I, I do that. I'm like, okay, where, or gray hairs, you know, but anyway, we won't, we're not going to get into gray hairs, but frankincense and lavender are going to be your skin rescue. Like you, you, you rescue your skin with frankincense and lavender. So support healthy, smooth, glowing skin by adding Frank and lavender to your natural moisturizer. And I make my own moisturizer, my own face serum. And I just posted tonight um, on my Insta, my, on my Instagram in the Insta stories. Uh, I did my, how I make my face serum, but my recipe is in my book, Granola Living. Um, but it's just jojoba oil, it's frankincense, it's lavender. I put tea tree, myrrh, and patchouli. And then sometimes I throw in some other oils. I, I love rose, like just one drop, one drop of a rose. Um, sometimes I put cypress or cedar wood or jasmine or ylang ylang. Those are all great, great oils, but I digress. Frankincense and lavender, they can definitely be your skin essentials, pun intended. Um, peace and calming, <laughs> aka baby angel sweat. Do baby angels sweat? I'm not sure. But if they did, they would smell, peace and calming would smell like baby angel sweat. I'm pretty sure about that. Um, I'm not sure if um, who would benefit more by using this if you or your kids because if you use peace and calming with your kids it will automatically bring peace and calming to you as well but moms can use this blend in the diffuser you can apply it to pulse points or you can add it to your bath yes i did say bath and you're probably like wait a minute a bath what is this you speak of because i don't take baths i don't have time for baths that must be nice do you have time for baths <laughs> <laughs> I'm not really a big bath person. Actually, my husband is more of a bath person than I am. I it's hard for me to sit there that long, just soaking, doing nothing. I'm I'm like I, I need to be doing something, but that's just my personality. But my point is, you have to remember um, when I said earlier that you need to take care of yourself, right? You need to take you need to create some time and space for you time. So you're going to take a cup of Epsom salt and you're going to mix two to four drops in it of, of the peace and calming before adding it to your bath. Whenever you add essential oils to your bath, you want to add it to Epsom salts first. Mix it around because if you just add oils to your bath, they're just going to, the oils are just going to sit on top. Uh, you want the oils, the essential oils to disperse through your water. So add them to Epsom salt and then, um, or if you have one of Young Living's um, uh, like shower gels or the Seedlings baby wash, shampoo and baby wash, oh my gosh, it makes a great bubble bath. I love that stuff. But you can add your oils to that too. What you're going to do, mom, wonder mom, you're going to grab a book or you're going to grab a glass of wine or just soak without interruption. I'm not going to say you're going to do this every single day, but perhaps maybe once a week or even once a month is a good date to make with yourself. So you're going to find, find a place for your kids. You're going to find a place for your kids to go because you know that if they are in the house, it won't be long before they are breaking down the doors to tattle on their brother or sister or tell you that they're hungry and you need to feed them, right? That's So just send them away. If taking a bath in baby angel sweat isn't your cup of tea, then you're going to put a drop in the palms of your hands. You're going to rub your hands together and cup them over your nose and mouth and breathe deeply, okay? You're going to get into a good habit of doing this, okay? So you're going to take one, two, or three minutes out of your day to collect yourself and enjoy a moment of peace and calm. You owe it to yourself, mom. You owe it to yourself. So as you can see, these oils are kind of like mini vacations in a bottle. They are like a tiny escape. Okay, so the last oil for your Wonder Mom Survival Kit. What is it? Okay, so let me show you. It's Valor, and I've already applied it twice since um, I started the live. Valor, okay, picture if you will, Mel Gibson as William Wallace and Braveheart riding his horse into battle. I don't know why, but honestly, in all seriousness, this is what I think of when I use Valor. 
I don't know. But anyway, perhaps the better analogy for this class is Wonder Woman. Okay, the new updated Wonder Woman. You know that movie? Have you seen the movie Wonder Woman? I fell asleep in it, but not because it wasn't good. It's a very good movie. It's just I was tired when I watched it. But anyway, um, Wonder Woman with great courage, unabashedly taking on the evils of the world. Okay, that's what we want to think of when we think of valor. Moms have the hardest job in the world. We are taking care of, responsible for, and raising little humans, hoping they will become godly, moral, productive members of society. We juggle being mommy. Um, we juggle being CEOs of our home, loving wives to our husband, uh, awesome friends, members of our community and church. What hats do you wear? You know, I mean, there are a lot of hats that we wear. <clears throat> we have many roles that we play in any given day. So keeping these plates spinning is very hard work. So I just have three words for you. Valor, valor, valor. Some synonyms um, for valor are bravery, courage, nerve, heroism, daring, audacious. Um, and there was another word and I totally forgot what it was. But anyway, you get the point. Moms are not weak, nor do we cower. And I know what you would do to protect your child. So don't poke mama bear, right? Like there's been times there was, <laughs> I'm sorry, <laughs> I'm laughing. I tend to laugh at myself. Um, my daughter was telling me about this girl at her school who was kind of making fun of her and being a little bit of a bully. And so we went to a football game in the fall. And Sophia said, mom, that's the girl right there. Yeah, I did all I could not to go over there. And the girl was probably like 13, 14. I'm pretty sure I could have taken her on. But anyway, um, yeah. Anyway, it's just that that motherly instinct came out. And, and I was just like, I'm going to take that girl down. But anyway, being a mom, regardless of how you feel, takes great strength and it takes great courage. So don't talk about yourself. Um, or think differently than that. You are strong and you are amazing. You're an amazing mom. And we don't have it all figured out. I know that. We are all going to make mistakes. We are going to mess up and we have to, we're going to have to apologize to our kids, whether it's now or when they are 35 and they're blaming us for how we raise them. Um, so grab your valor oil. You're going to rub a drop on your neck or on your spine or on your wrists, your neck and your shoulders, or just breathe it. Just breathe it in. It makes a great cologne or perfume, by the way, too. It smells great. You're going to rub two drops of valor in your hands, rub your hands together. And then what you're going to do is you're going to rub your body. So, so, so start at your head. Okay. Take your two drops of valor, rub your hands together. Start at the top, and you're going to run your hands down your body, okay? Cover your arms. You're going to cover your chest, your back, your legs. So you're going to do this like you are applying armor to your body, okay? Valor is in my purse, and it's with me wherever I go because you never know when you will need extra strength. Whenever you're feeling like you're not enough, you're going to use valor. Whenever you feel like you can't measure up or you start comparing yourself to other moms or other people, grab your valor. Or if you are a mom or if you're not the mom that you think you should be, use your valor. When you've cleaned up vomit for the 12th time, use valor. When you have to meet with your child's teacher because they aren't doing well in school, use your valor. When you're about to lose your mind, use valor or stress away, or peace and calming, or lavender, or frankincense. <laughs> you can use any of those. So you are stronger than you think, but we let lies invade our minds and we talk bad about ourselves. And sometimes I say things, I say things out loud, bad things out loud about myself, and my husband says, stop talking about my wife like that. And it's such a check, you know, check your heart, check your mind kind of a moment. Carol A. Gardner, another Young Living leader, says that when you catch yourself speaking negatively to yourself, you're going to say, cancel, cancel, delete, delete. And I say, do that, but also put on your valor and go to battle. So 12 oils. I've shared with you 12 oils that I believe every Wonder Mom needs. Um, but you know what? 
I just barely scratched the surface of all the things that these bottles of miracles can perform. And that's what makes them so amazing. One bottle of oil can do so many things. And the oils that I've shared with you tonight can do so much more to help you survive momming. So without, without God and oils, I would be a hot mess. And sometimes I am anyways. Uh, but for me, you know, I see oils as God's gifts to us to help us cope and make life a little more bearable. So I don't go a day without my oils. I love that I have natural, safe, health promoting and legal solutions for the stresses, troubles and situations I face as a mom. And you need them too. I'm speaking to you, mom to mom. Okay. You need oils. If you have oils, you need to get them out and you need to use them. If you don't have oils but want to use them, I can help you. So help me help you. <laughs> it's so easy to get started and all you have to do is click the link that I'm going to be putting in this post. Um, I was going to do that as I, before I posted, but I will probably have to go back and edit and put it in here or I will put it in the comments, one or the other. But it will take you no time to sign up and order uh, to, to sign up um, using my order link. So when you do this, I will get an email telling me you've ordered your kit and I will then send you a Granola Babes welcome packet with some goodies that, that will help you get started. So not only will you receive helpful resources, but you will get support, encouragement, and coaching from me and the Granola Babes community. So you are not, you're not gonna be alone. And you're only cool if you're a Granola Babe. Um, do you need the Wonder Mom Survival Kit? If you do, if you need the Wonder Mom Survival Kit, then I want you to comment with a smile or a raised hand emoji. So raised hand emoji or a big smile, okay? If you need the Wonder Mom Survival Kit. I wanna hear from you, so you gotta tell me. <clears throat> if you are already a Young Living member, I want you to comment with a thumbs up emoji. Okay, you're already a Young Living member, you're already an avid oiler, Com comment with a th thumbs up. So I also want to know which oil do you need the most right now? And I also want to know what you learned tonight. So if you're watching the replay, please still comment. I want you to still comment. Don't think, oh, well, she's already done the live, so I'm not going to comment. Please comment. I want to know what you learned tonight. I want to know which oils you need right now. And I want to know if you have any questions for me. So if you have any questions, please put it in the comments or send me a private message. Either way. Either way will work. So I'm so grateful that you would even take the time to tune in to my class. If you found it helpful, please, please, please show me some love by sharing this video or tagging a friend in the comments. It would mean the world to me. We all know people who can benefit from the oils, right? We all know people who can benefit from the oils. That's why I'm teaching this class because I know that there's people, many, there's gazillions of people out there who need the oils. You can help others by sharing this info and helping them get started too. So don't be a closet oiler. It's more fun when you're oiling with your friends. So share, share, share the oily love with your family and friends, okay? So I wanna thank you so much. I am so grateful and appreciative, like I said, that you would take the time to spend an hour with me. It was so much fun for me to share the oils with you and stay tuned because I will be teaching more online classes um, in the future. So that's what I do. That's what I do. So thank you all so much. I love you guys. And I'm going to say good night. Please comment. comment. I want to hear from you. Okay. Good night.